And now comes Didier Kouche. And we are not far from Switzerland, just 45 minutes from Geneva. And so the folks that cheer him on there, they have come the distance. Winner here last year, Kouche looking for his third victory in a row. This guy is just so fun to watch. Did you see how he ripped it out of the start gate? So powerful. I mean, here's a man when he does weight training squats, 500 pounds, 37 years old, fitter than anyone else on tour. But what's been amazing this year in the softer snow conditions is this man has shown the touch. Right, and that's so important here. Well done, wow, what a difference in the last skier that just went down. But it matters how the skis are running. So he comes into the second half of this course with a lead but not much a little bit of a pre-jump there takes some of the length out of that jump and then a great way to get back on the ground build speed onto the flats and see if it works for kush you know it's interesting it, kush has been critical the direction of downhill that it's getting too easy less air too many turns this course has lost a lot of its teeth he doesn't like that and down here at the bottom he's losing the edge that he had on top but maybe the difference for Kush is that even though he disagrees with it, he hasn't let that bother him recently. He's still able to ski loosely, and he is still in touch. 700s yep. to find. That's right. He is so known for precision. He applies a lot of force to the ski. He's a big man, but he also can have a soft touch, and he's got the lead again. Steals it back, and typically when Kush loses the lead on the flats, he doesn't get it back. But this is a different man in the last weeks. DDA Kush to the line. Oh, and not enough. It looked like he was going to get it, but DDA Kush thwarted by four hundredths of a second. What a tight race this is. There he is with the classic ski flip. What a guy.